Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Local 23 here. You're joining me for Choices of Stories You Play, Freshman Book 3, Chapter 7, Rebel with a Cause. Everyone stares at Zig with their mouth agape. Zig, you have a criminal record? Uh, Chris, you're about to lose your standing as Codfield's resident criminal! Uh, Sebastian, shut up. Uh, Chris, huh? I wouldn't have pegged you for the type. Uh, I... It's a long story. It looks like our favorite football dog isn't the only one with secrets. No secrets here. If you want to know about it, I'll tell you. Well, I can't say I'm not intrigued, but... What exactly happened? My sister used to date this total jerk. He was always belittling her, calling her names, and making threats. Sometimes weeks would go by where I would have no idea what was going on because he wouldn't let me talk to her. They dated for two years, but when I was in high school, she finally broke up with him. I was helping her move her stuff out of his place when he showed up in the middle of it and started getting aggressive. I didn't intend for things to get violent, but he grabbed my sister. When I tried to pull him away, he threw a punch at me. So I beat the hell out of him. I got expelled and ended up spending the next year in juvie. Wow. Oh my god. But yeah, no shit, it was held funds. But what happened to the guy? It was hard to make the uh, argument when there was hardly a scratch on me and the other guy was a mess. Wow. You really laid into him, huh? I was not going to stand by and let him push my sister around like that. He may not have been legally charged, but I hope he'll think twice before treating another woman like that. That's awful that you had to hear the bear the brunt of the consequences, though. Yeah. We all make mistakes, but at least your intentions were good. It was a mistake. I would do it again in a heartbeat. As long as I protect the people I love, I don't care what happens to me. Hmm. Well, leave it to a thug like you to try and justify it. You sure you want to finish that sentence, Captain Trust Fund? Oh. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, hey, who wants to play a round of beer pong? Oh yes, let's set the table up! People branch off into groups as the party continues. You head back inside, chatting with Caitlin and Abby. Wow, Zig told quite a story, huh? Yeah, I guess he really is as tough as he looks. I don't know, it makes me feel a little uncomfortable. I mean, Chris's car theft is one thing, but... Did you see how mad he got just retelling the story? To be fair, he was trying to protect his sister. Besides, it was a long time ago. But it's just on that, he totally clocks a bastion too. And he didn't even know him. I mean, I'm the last person to defend that cockroach, but still... It seems like Zig might be prone to lashing out. Hey, Sebastian did grab Mizumi. I think Zig was just trying to help. Look, maybe he doesn't go about it in the most pleasant way, but it seems like his heart is in the right place. To be honest, he scares me a little. I think he deserves a chance. I don't really know what to make of him. I think he deserves a chance. I don't condone violence, but it seems like Zig is trying to look out for people who need help. If we can forgive Chris... Chris was going through a rough patch. Zig is just rough. I think he's just passionate when it comes to protecting his loved ones. I really doubt he'd hurt someone for no reason. Well, however you guys feel about him, it looks like he and Chris are really getting along. 
She nods across the room where Chris and Zig are speaking intently. I guess I'm not too surprised. They do have a thing or two in common. Oh no. You don't think... I mean, Chris fell in with a bad crowd before. Abby, uh, talking to one guy with a record isn't going to turn Chris into a cold-blooded criminal. If it makes you feel better, I'll go see what they're talking about. Probably plotting some hardcore crimes. My bet is on arson. Cut it out, Caitlin. I'm just trying to look out for my friend, but you wouldn't understand that, would you? Oh, here we go. Abby storms off while Caitlin stares after her wide-eyed. What was that about? I think she's still mad about the way your band behaved last weekend. Oh, for... <sighs> she needs to get over it. They were just teasing. Yeah, but it bugged her. I think you should try and work things out. How am I supposed to work things out if she keeps running away instead of talking to me? <sighs> Caitlin. Look, I'll go talk to her, okay? Thank you. I don't want any group drama, especially with everyone so separated right now. To be honest, I feel like I haven't seen that much of you lately. Caitlin gives her hand, takes her hand, and gives a light squeeze. Sorry, we haven't had much time for us. I know I've been busy with my band lately. Caitlin, do you worry a minute? I've really been missing you. I'm glad you're getting so much out of your band, but I wish you had a little more time for us. I know, and I'm so sorry I haven't been making this time. But I swear we'll do something together soon. She gives you a quick kiss and turns to leave. You keep an eye on Chris while I find Abby. I'll do my best. You head over to Chris and Zig. As you approach, Chris is so wrapped up in the conversation that he doesn't even notice you. And I just think it's so strange that... Hey, Mizumi. I see you two are getting along. Mizumi, perfect timing. Zig was just telling me a little more about himself. So, you've got more throwing, thrilling stories about your past, huh? I think you and everyone else has already heard the juiciest bits. But long story short, I grew up in a military family, moved around a lot as a kid, liked school, and now here I am, partying up with a bunch of college students. Well, I'm really glad you're hanging out with us. You might... You must feel like a fish out of water. Um, I'm glad he's hanging. Ever since you helped us out at the cafe, I've had a feeling we get along. Well, happy to assist however I can, especially if it involves giving Prince privilege a reason to count his teeth. I think you've probably scared Sebastian enough for one lifetime. Thankfully, most of us aren't as obnoxious as him. I get that impression. You all seem like decent people. Actually, Chris and I have been chatting, and it turns out we have a lot in common. I was telling Zig a little about my background when you came over. I gotta say, man, you give me hope for overcoming my rap sheet. I could use a second chance. You said you like school. Have you thought about college? I always wanted to. I actually did well on my SATs that I got an early acceptance from a few colleges during my junior year, but after the incident with my sister's ex, all those offers were revoked. But I haven't given up hope yet. If Chris was able to do it, maybe there's a chance for me too. He looked at Chris, he's staring off in his face, his brow furrowed in concentration. Chris, I know that look. You have an idea you want to share with us? Zeke, you've given me a great idea for my next student council proposal. Really? What kind of proposal? Look, I need to work out the details, but I want to do something to help people like us. I got a dart fell because I got a second chance, and I want to pass that on. You know what? I'm going to head home. I need to write some down some of these ideas. 
It was great talking to you, Zig. I hope we'll be in touch. For sure, man. See you later. Chris grins at both of you and hurries off towards the door. Well, it looks like it's just you and me. The busy life of college students, huh? Oh, something like that. Is something wrong? I just... I guess I'm kind of a weird place with my friends right now. Sorry to hear that. Feel like sharing? I've been told I'm a great listener. When we first all met, I felt like we were going to be friends forever. But now, everyone's busy meeting new friends, or people, getting into fights with other people, or... I'm worried that we're drifting apart. Hey, everyone has their shortcomings, and you'll find them when you know a person long enough. Things can't be perfect all the time. What matters is how you deal with that, and what you're willing to do to make things work. If you really care about each other, you'll get through this and be closer because of it. You know, you're absolutely right. Not so sure I'm getting frustrated. Personal preference and history, you're absolutely right. We've been through a lot, and we've always had each other's backs. The corner won't be any different. See? You know it's true. You'll get through this. I just wish everyone wasn't so busy. I don't want to spend t tonight alone. You don't have to, you know. I'm standing in front of you. I found this cool little dive on the other side of town. He could grab some drinks, play some pool. Just as a friend thing, you've been kind to me and I want to return the favor. You glance around the room, but all your friends have all left. You let out a sigh. You know what? Let's do it. That's what I like to hear. I promise it'll be fun. I don't doubt it. Let's bounce. You'd say catch a cab downtown. Then he ushers you into a small, dark dive bar. A few gruff-looking patrons dot the room, and the air smells of stale beer. There's a pool table in the corner. Here we are. McLennan's. My favorite watering hole in all of Harfeld. At least so far. A busted television, too. Wow, this place is really sketchy, really cool. I love the atmosphere. I feel like this place must have some great stories. You're right about that. The other day, the bartender shared some incredible memories about the fire of 86. Remind me to tell you sometime. I'm excited to hear all about it. How about I grab us some beers and find us a place to sit? Sure thing. You take a seat by the pool table and Zig joins you with two brimming steins of beer. How did you find out about this place? I was just exploring the city when I found it. It reminds me of this crap bar where I got my first job when I was 17. I'd saved up take my sisters to the movies. Aw, that's sweet. It seems like you and your sisters are close. Very much so. My family's pretty big, but we take care of each other. Yeah, I definitely got that impression from what you told us at the party. Look, Mizumi, I know I might come off as a little intense, but I'm just trying to do what's right. You don't have to agree with me, but I need you to understand I can't sit idly by when I see someone being cruel. Like your sister's ex or Sebastian? Guys like that are never going to be held accountable for their actions. If you want justice, sometimes you have to step outside the box. Hmm. I don't agree with that. I understand where you're coming from, but there are... But there's got to be another way. This is tough for me. I'm just definitely gonna get put in the weekly video. Um, 
it's either two or three for me. I understand where you're coming from. This is usually other people talking to me. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Sometimes you gotta do everything right, but it's still not enough. If people like that are gonna play outside the rules, you have to be prepared to do the same. I'm glad you understand. Not everyone sees it the way. And I guess I can't blame them. We're trying to protect someone you love. There are no boundaries. I get it. Six sits back and looks at you for a moment. His brow for a... You're a good person, Mizumi. You know that? I... Well, thanks? Regardless of how you can go about it, I think you care a lot about others. I do. I guess we have that in common. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't mean to, for the conversation to get so heavy. I wanted you to have some fun tonight. The night's still young. Zig smiles and stands up and puts a few quarters in the pool table. Are you any good at pool? Oh. Oh, I'm kind of a noob. I'm kind of in the middle for me, but... Want me to show you the ropes? Please. Here, let me take your hand. Zook stands behind you and places his hands over yours, guiding your movement. You feel him pressed against your back. Is this okay? Oh, come on. You know what? I don't care. Get a little closer. Wait, I th thought you were seeing someone. <sighs> yeah, I am. Shit. You bite your lip and look at the ground as it pulls away from you and steps back. Do they know you're here with me tonight? No. Ziggle lets out a frustrated sigh and runs a hand through his hair. Look, Mizumi, I like you, but this is wrong. I'm not gonna be your man on the side. I'm sorry, Zig. I didn't mean it that way. Things just have been complicated lately. If you're not happy, then you need to talk to your partner. Not get involved with an other people behind their back. I don't like being used, and I don't want to ruin someone else's relationship. Work things out with them before you mess around with me, Mizumi. You're right, Zig. I'm really sorry. She flirted, man. Come on! Whatever. Um... I don't want to drop Caitlyn just yet until she gives you... Like, hey, you caught Caitlyn and Natasha kissing. Which, I would beat the shit in Natasha. Um, at least from a woman's perspective. As for me, I'd be like, damn. Um, you wake up late the next morning to the sound of your phone ringing. Gabriella's f number pops up on the screen. Oh. Hello? Masumi, I need your help. It's an emergency. Oh, no. Did something happen? Is Rico okay? He's fine, but I... Uh, this is so embarrassing. I've got a date tonight. Gabriella, that's so great. So what's the issue? I just moved to a new apartment, and I found a sitter in the area. I haven't found a sitter in the area. I was wondering... Say no more. I can watch Rico while you're out. Oh, thanks so much, Mizumi. This is a huge relief. Listen, Rico can be a bit of a handful for one person, so why don't you invite a friend along, too? Thanks, Gabriella. I'll do that. Great. I'll text you my address. See you tomorrow. You hang up and flop down on the bed. How hard could it be to take care of a baby for one night? Find out on the next chapter of Freshman. I hope you guys did enjoy the co or, uh, video. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We've got quite a bit to do, and I'm a little bit behind. Last night I was feeling a bit under the weather and very tired. Um, so I've already unlocked all of these, by the way. Um, I've already unlocked this one. Um, I at least was able to do that.
I didn't want to start the stories until, um, basically, well, I felt better. Um, so, uh, like I said, already we've got a good sizable amount for this week's freshman, um, so to do a weekly recap, so look in store for that after we get all these done. Usually I'll do it about two days after this, and then also I'm going to start uploading the, um, Diamond used, most wanted. I'm going to do that as well. Um, after listening to everyone's feedback and doing last week's recap and discussing those issues with a lot of you, um, I know what I'm going to do pushing forward, so look forward to that. And until next time, folks, have a good one.